Good morning. So guys, I've been a sports fan for uh, pretty much all my life. I'm 43, and uh, I've been watching sports since I was a very, very young boy. Uh, probably 1983, 84. You know, I jumped for joy when the Mets won the World Series in 1986. The Rangers won the Stanley Cup in 94. That was amazing. Uh, the Jets, my football team, have never won a Super Bowl in my life, but I still love them anyway. I'm a diehard fan, and I'll always... Uh, always support them. Well, maybe not. Sports was always great because it was like an escape. You know, it was an escape from real life, from the everyday problems or what's going on. It's, it's a nice, just, you know, relaxing way to, uh, you know, to take in a game and forget about the, all the problems that are going on. But recently, in the last few years, it's uh, gotten a lot worse and now it's just gotten out of control. I'm trying to avoid the sun glare here. I'm going to turn the corner in a minute. But now it's really, really gotten uh, just completely out of control how uh, all these social movements and uh, politics and racial issues and stuff, you know, all these players are talking about all the time now. Social media certainly didn't help. Everyone's got the Twitter or posting on Facebook and Instagram about this or that, you know. Um, you know, Major League Baseball putting the BLM instead of MLB on the pitcher's mound when it came back. Football now announcing that they're going to have a uh, one-hour diversity night on NBC uh, sometime this week. I think I will not be watching it, so uh, <laughs> couldn't pay me to watch that. But it's going to be—it's just, it's just a nightmare. A bunch of millionaires lecturing us on, uh, you know, how we have privilege or how we, uh, you know, need to be better people. These same athletes, many of them who, you know, caught beating their wives, doing drugs, getting drunk, getting arrested, and basically getting a slap on the wrist and getting away with it. You know, I wouldn't listen to these guys, just like I don't listen to the singers and entertainers who all spout off their opinions. You know, who cares? Just uh, play the song, act your role in the movie, hit the baseball, you get millions of dollars. What do you got to be so upset about? So it's just not fun anymore. It's absolutely not fun. The NBA, which honestly I haven't been a big basketball fan really ever, uh, but they've just completely sold out, sold their soul to China. Absolutely. They just are, 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 are so pathetic. And you can see in the ratings, people are not watching this stuff anymore. People don't want to hear it or they don't want to see it. So oh, it's just, it's just, it's so bad. It's just so bad. And now with all the COVID uh, restrictions and no fans and rule changes and umpires, you know, wearing masks and just, it's just, it's just terrible. It's no fun anymore. It's just absolutely a, um, it's a dead entity. Sports is dead. And uh, I'll always cherish my memories, like I said, of, uh, of my teams winning championships the few times they did. You know, I'll watch old videos of games or highlights, you know, on YouTube, but uh, as far as watching anything current, nope. R.I.P. Sports. Have a good day, boys and girls.